Uh, well, uh, I'm going to present this uh, group of storytellers um, uh, with a presentation also of the story of my encounter and participation with uh, uh, Vooming's universe. Uh, well, the first time I have heard the name of Vooming was at the national news during the protest of students against uh, uh, the um, the reform of uh, uh, of uh, students in 2010. In that occasion, students of Sapienza University would use a color plastic shields, uh, which showed the title of worldwide classic books. Among the classics like uh, La Divina Commedia or the Italian Constitution or uh, A Thousand Plateau by uh, Deleuze and Guattari, only one title refers to a book whose authors are still living. Um, its name was Q. Uh, an historical novel published in 1999, the new speakers of the, the news said, uh, by the collective Luther Blissett, later known as Vu Ming. So I was intrigued, uh, but at the moment I didn't inquire. Then I decided to seek for information online, and in the best uh, serendipitous case, I was looking for a needle and I found a haystack. Um, not only Vu Ming seem to have a creative history as long as their fan community, but they were taking active part, active part to the student protest by spreading images, channelizing comments, and collecting articles about what themselves named the book block. And that's the book block. The, the tweet by Vu Ming, our novel Q clashed with the Italian police, and they published this kind of photo, and it's was a very impressive uh, uh, street and media uh, tactic. So you, you see the police brutality against uh, La Divina Commedia and so on. Um, moreover, what seems to be a niche company, booming like a niche company, uh, proved to be a well-oiled war, war machine of transmedia storytelling from below. Um, in fact, such a band is active since 1994 within a broader collective of European pranksters, artists, and activists under the shared name of Luther Blissett. Blissett was a British, as you see, Caribbean ex-football player whose name was borrowed as a multi-use name, an open reputation, and I quote from the interview of Aaron Jenkins to Vu Ming, uh, for staging elaborate media pranks. Uh, between 94 and 99, the Luther Blissett project became very popular in Italy, and I quote, by injecting a strong dose of falsehood in the media, which showed the unprofessionality of most reporters and the groundlessness of moral panic. At the end of uh, Luther Blissett project in December 99, the five members based in Bologna and uh, responsible of the collective writing of Q, Q is a, a, a collective um, novel written by two for uh, eight ends and um, which became a, a contemporary classic uh, and uh, they uh, they regrouped as Vuming. Uh, so albeit the novel was published by one of the most important Italian editor Enaudi and translated in 14 languages Q embedded a, a sort of proto copyleft disclaimer which allowed the reproduction of the book for non-commercial purposes several years before the invasion of Creative Commons license. And all Vooming's books are under this disclaimer, so you can share and reproduce for free. As Vooming means either anonymous and five names in Chinese Mandarin, their members get a pseudonym composed by the name of a band followed by a number. So we have Vooming 1, Vooming 2, Vooming 3, and so on. Avoiding any audiovisual apparition, and I quote, as a refusal uh, of the celebrity-making machine which turns the author into a star. However, their names aren't secret. You can easily uh, access to their name on Wikipedia, and their user engagement aims to focus on a bodily feedback rather than on their number of clicks. Uh, during their book presentation, lectures and conferences, which are capillary distributed among the festival and colleges, as well as social centers or small bookshop, Vooming's aims to be transparent towards reader and to be opaque towards media. 
Um, that's how I see for first time the face of Roberto Bui, which is Vooming One, named Vooming One, on April uh, 2011 during the presentation of Anatra Arancia Meccanica, Clockwork Duck with Orange, a collection of Vooming's short stories. A uh, few days later, I discovered a very dynamic like ecosystem around the book. Uh, after the uploading of the audio recording of Rome's presentation, a prolific discussion among users and authors had been started, whereas uh, there were already two transmedia grassroots spin-offs based on the book. Plus, a huge critical stream was spreading around the web, either by readers and journalists, supported by the Twitter hashtag AAAM, and via Anubi, a literary social media based on users' book review. And parallel to this discussion, uh, there were another one with the hashtag Twitter is not Facebook. So a discussion among users uh, about the role and the differences between these two very different social media. Um, as Vuming rapidly recognized such an anthology was getting their greatest critical success, uh, which includes the reader's active role, and I quote, as reading practices, reviews, and discussion far more militant than that of Sodison militant critics. Um, how could I easily have an idea of such transmedia network? Uh, the answer is uh, Vu Nigan Jap. As you may know, General Jap was a successful military commander of Viet Minh's army in the first Indochina and Vietnam War, and once again Vu Ming borrowed a name, his name, to title their newsletter, which over then uh, 11,000 inscription, uh, and later was transformed into a block JAP. And JAP is the case study of this uh, presentation. I will show you the, the site that, that's JAP. Okay, it's, it's a well old fashioned uh, style of blog. You, you can see, you know, uh, social media buttons or advertisement and, and so on. Um, so, JAP is the booming transmedia headquarter. Although it resembles for me the features of a web social center under users' management, uh, JAP channelizes and hosts public assembly, cultural and political collective campaigns, often managing an alternative media coverage of both Italian social political events, such as protests, squatting, riots, and so on. Uh, and, in particular, to Japs community, I confront with the Japsters, the, the, the users of, of Jap, and Vuming, which ensure almost uh, 24 hours moderation. Um, certainly inspired by Vuming work, during the decade, Jap has fostered the flourishing of several spin-off collectives, like Equindici, which is a collective re readers and editorial counselors, and Kaizen is sort of a mirror collective of Vuming, but also uh, several projects of collective writing, uh, which of one I participate directly, which is Futuri Anteriore, that is a, a grassroots a story, but also an essay on the media archaeology topics and so on. And uh, all of the, the, those projects as grassroots and uh, uh, the, the product of, of such project are, of course, on copyleft and free uh, sharing. Um, Vooming practices anything without theory, which in turn is nothing without participation. Uh, one of the most impressive results of such uh, what they define practical philosophy regards the studies around the, the so-called new town epic. With such a term, uh, Vooming outlined an Italian literary nebula in which, since 1993, multiple genres and grassroots contents are mutually involved in creating a complex but popular transmedia epic narrative. Um, so after a series of lectures in America, at MIT for example, on April 2008, Vooming One uploaded the first draft of what he named a memorandum, hoping for a good body-to-body -body engagement with users, and six months later, the memorandum reached over than 30,000 
downloads, triggering a controversial debate between best-selling Italian writers like uh, De Cataldo and uh, Lucarelli, Jenna and so on, under the condom, condom, hard condom of critics and academics. Then in, in um, later, Vooming One released a 2.0 version, which became a, a text, a published text, which we, uh, again with, with an Audi editore, uh, and uh, its subtitle was the narrative oblique gaze and back to the future and we can encompass this with three, these three terms the three main theoretical topic of Wu Ming's work so one narrative or storytelling which encompasses classical studies on narratology semiotics and myth as that by Joseph Campbell Furio Yesi but also the field of cognitive linguistic by George Lakoff and the transmedia strand by Harry Jenkins, of course. Uh, two, oblique gates, or what, what we can call utopian epistemology, which interlink the radical effort for a complex interpretation of reality, Foucault, Deleuze, and so on, up to Alain Badiou, for example, which the perversion and the molecularization of the points of view after related to Pasolini indirect free speech, or Zizek uh, gaze theory. And three, back to the future, which regards the field of temporality, uh, which reasserts the importance of get experience of alternative times, shifting from the spatial metaphors of being within outside an ideological frame, and rather to think in terms of future perfect, futuro anteriore, a central topic either in Italian post operis theory as well in, in historical avant garde artists. So, according to Yves Citon, Vooming work is immersed into a narrative and evenimental dimension, whereas the activity of singular agent hero symbiotically gets sense within that of the multitudes. Multitudes is a, is a key concept for radical thinking. Um, so, referring to Jean-Luc Nancy concept of myth interrupted as an opportunity to define a new kind of being in commons, as well as a new form of storytelling, this voice of interruption is what we mean uh, express. So for Siton, even if the story is told from the past tense, the storytelling work make it evident, which today happens to us as a commons, because it's part of a nature of event itself to reach sense all in the light of interpretation, cues, and attention were engaged in its tracks. Um, so Vooming create this kind of fictional world and words with uh, uh, a precise and direct openness of the text, which fosters a stronger reader's contribution. And the same happens in regard of their web activity, in particular on JAP, their blog. Um, so by combining theory with technocultural experiment, pra experimental practice, because we are talking about everyday practice in, in the web, Vooming represents a sort of pioneers either in transmedia storytelling as well as in media archaeology. So in 2006, after writing the preface of the Italian edition of Convergence Culture by Jenkins, Vooming introduced their work to Harry Jenkins, which in turn interviewed them. And Jenkins say, I was fascinated by his description of the commonalities between the word I described in the book and, and he's quoting Vooming 1 and Vooming 2, the things we have been doing and theorizing for more than 12 years, albeit with a more radical activist edge. And so we can recognize the cross-media storytelling or the old new media collision, which one of the aim of today media archaeology. Well, uh, recently, with the publication of uh, uh, Spreadable Media by Henry Jenkins, and uh, Joshua Green and Sam Ford. Um, Jenkins outlined a transmedia model which resumes almost exactly what Wooming uh, uh, called uh, transmedia. Uh, against a sticky, sticky model based on the leveraging and program participation, today's spreadability encourages unanticipated interactivity and facilitate contents reuse by blurring the creator audience distinction. That's what Jenkins said. Um, and what Vooming promotes 
far before the introduction of the so-called Web 2.0 technology, regards the collaboration with grassroots intermediaries, which clearly aims to let the community reproduce stories and imagery. Um, so I interview Wu Ming Wan, I have this chance, and he reveals that JAP is managed by a series of mailing lists, covered mailing lists, whereas members of the community deals with the most relevant and potentially uh, hot threads or topic. So uh, whenever Wu Ming posts a new article on such a topic, it is discussed and tested within the list, which runs a sort of moderating assembly for answering questions and oriented in discussion. So the three main uh, features of JAP is, of course, JAPster co-determination, so self-management of the content with the authors, uh, and a, a, a very um, um, direct practice that they use is to close comments in, within the first 72 hours. And uh, um, I, I try to to jump some, to some part. Um, that's kind of uh, practice which seems to be, you know, a sort of limitation to close uh, the, the comments, um, is at the core of a, a slowdown practice, slowdown practice, out of which Wu Ming are strong supporters and, uh, and theorists. Uh, when you have, and I quote Wu Ming Wan, when you have such a huge, hyper, fast, meta, uh, discourse on everything you on your daily life, then the act of resistance will consist in slowdowning that flow, and so that's the uh, sabotage of in, that's sabotage of imposed times is a recurring topic uh, on JAP, since for Wu Ming it represents an alternative epistemological posture against a whole set of spatial dualism for ideology critics such as outside, within, integrated, excluded and so on. So they uh, absolutely reassess the importance of resistance, but without uh, excluding the participation. So participation and resistance are not mutually exclusive, uh, in as much as instead of spatial terms, we reason in terminal terms, blocks, flows, sabotage, accelerations. And um, I find the similarities with uh, the concept of cyber time of uh, Franco Bifo Berardi, an Italian radical philosopher, as cyberspace is the never-ending sphere, whereas the mental and the technological blend together, cyber time represents the slow rhythm, the rhythm of corporeality, of enjoyment, of suffering, a bodily rhythm, which clashes with the ergonomic and the velocity standardization of digital. And the critical usage of, of cyber time is in, interlinked with a strong stance toward social media. And uh, we can see this innervation with Twitter, which is one of the main uh, uh, features. That's, oops. And so Wu Ming, uh, um, yeah, here, uh, they connect the news feed of the blog with uh, Twitter. So every time you post uh, a comment on their blog, so this one post a comment, is mirrored directly to Twitter. So this is a kind of uh, cultural hijacking of uh, the usage of Twitter, which tend as uh, every social media to keep the content inside the, the social media and so to let uh, um, flow the discussion inside the, the platform. And uh, with this kind of uh, strategical uh, um, practice, they uh, you know, blend together the, the, the blog activity with that of social media presence. And, uh, during the 2011, Twitter exponentially increased its audience thanks to its media coverage of uh, Arab Spring Revolution, for example. Um, as a consequence, at least in Italy, Twitter was increasingly colonized by VIP and fans' account, causing uh, considerable changes in Twitter algorithm and graphic interface. In the same year, Jap hosted a prolific discussion on the political role of social media, on the techno-cultural difference between as I said, Facebook and Twitter, on the ideological frame developed by the web, like uh, we are the people of the web, and so on. 
and of course on Vooming's use of social media. And uh, so uh, in 2012, they decided to quit with, uh, with Jap, with uh, Twitter, but later they started with this uh, creative activity. So they, in 2003, published this uh, novel called 54, and which is set in an utopian 1954, whereas uh, among other characters, Cary Grant is involved in a spy mission in Yugoslavia before the filming of Hitchcock to catch a thief. Through a dedicated account that is this one, 54 live tweet, uh, Vooming invite users to share content and text regarding a date on, of their 54 thus hijacking the immediacy paradigm of live, live tweeting towards a slow and creative remediation of cultural memory. And participation and resistance, uh, I already could do that. Uh, so in the last part, uh, I would analyze uh, uh, the transmedia uh, activity of Vooming through uh, the theory of uh, David Ehrman, which is a sort of a cognitive narratologist. Because um, Vooming remarks as the social and the individual body is a presupposition for any kind of narration, especially a revolutionary transmedia one. Um, so they embrace George Lakoff theory of embodied metaphors, which structure our sense-making activity. But I, I will confront with David Ehrman, um, so, in, in contrast with the classical cognitivist focus on, on the reduction of the, to a brain-centered individual mind, Ehrman opposes the notion of intelligent and distributed system in which transmedia storytelling represents as well a psychological tool for sense-making. So, he used this term, cognitive artifacts, taken from Vygotsky can be defined broadly as object, mental and cultural, the scaffold sense-making activities. Cognitive artifacts participate in a larger functional systems. The system in question are not technology that stand between users and tasks. Rather, users and tasks can be construed as dimension of the more basic and separate individual system or environment in which sense-making activity take root. Uh, thus, uh, the performative physical presence of Wu Ming, they used to, to, to make a, a lot, a lot of several presentation and encounter bodily face to face their readers uh, uh, on the streets, uh, shapes the coordinates for a spreadable mind body engagement with the public. And the results, for example, for his last novel, L'Armata di Sonnamboli, The Army of Sleepwalker is, for example, the creation by users of an uh, uh, origami campaign. So this is the, the cover, the logo of the novel, and the users started to create origami based on the mask, which is oft, also uh, one of the main objects within the, the fictional world of the novel. So we have a physical remediation, transmedia remediation of object. Um, as we may recognize in the book block strategy, the first example of such practices, uh, Vooming are witnessing the creation of a whole series of grassroots physical artifacts. And another example oh, sorry, is this one, the spirit of Mara, which is another object of the army of sleepwalkers uh, and created by users. And as regard Point Lenana, which is a, a solo novel of Wuming Guan, is a novel based on the montaneering, so mo mountain climbing. And Jobsters used to set up collective excursion with the authors, bringing the object book, the object Point Lenana, in the same peaks in which the novel is set. Point Lenana is the peak of the mountain, one of the peaks of Mountain Kenya. And so users used to bring the book in the peak of, for example, Mountain Kenya or Monte Vettore and spread it on the, on the social media. So to conclude, 
what Moomin called a grassroots creative and dynamic reception of their works resembles more the feature of a transmedia militancy rather than a simple participation. By sharing stories as well as bodily experiences in a continuous shift between singular and multitudinous dimension, Jap represent a platform of distributed sense-making, technocultural hijacking of cyber time and a creative socio-political experience. Thank you.